Auchinleck Estate has been privately owned land since 1504. Owned by the Boswell family, it presents an array of history and breathtaking landscape. Recently, the area has undergone a regeneration program. To help improve tourist revenue, new facilities have been added, such as a children's play area and a tea room and gift shop in the recently refurbished Boswell's Coach House. Its latest addition, however, is a new pioneering initiative in the form of outdoor segways, introduced by local entrepreneur Robert Boyd and his 22-year-old son, Russell. Being one of the only outdoor Segway businesses in Ayrshire, Robert and Russell offer an exclusive service. We started the business last September um, and the reason we started it was that uh, my wife and I had been wanting to go on Segways for about a year and had never actually had the chance. And we were up in Oban and uh, there was a Segway nearby and so we went out on them and when we came back, the chap was actually selling up uh, because he was retiring. So we decided then that if my son would come in as a partner uh, with me, that we would start up down here. I had been working here at Orkin Lake Estate in the coffee shop, assisting them to get started up with a new restaurant coffee shop. And, um, when I was finished with that, uh, I thought that the estate was ideal uh, for a small business and the segways, there was no other segways within 70 miles of us, so we thought that would be a good start. Being rural, people want to come out of the towns and things and experience a bit of rural, um, not rural living, but just being out in the countryside and it's ideal out here where there's lots of paths and things that we can go on. The Segway is often seen as a safer and more environmentally friendly mode of transport. But for the first time user, it can be quite difficult to grasp. And if the safety precautions are not adhered to, it can certainly be dangerous. As we provide helmets for everyone, we also have knee pads, elbow pads, gloves, um, for anyone who wishes to wear them. But we all have to wear safety helmets. If you're going to fall off for any reason, you should just let the Segway go. The Segway will only run on for a few metres and then stop itself. Um, you don't step forward as the machine uh, keeps going. Um, otherwise, it's uh, once you're on it, it, they're very safe. After a quick introduction, where consent forms are signed and the use of helmets enforced, guests are shown a demonstration on proper Segway safety. Uh, the Segways uh, operate their self-balancing, and so when you uh, leaning forward, the machine thinks you're falling and goes forward to save you, and when you lean back, it goes back the way to stop you from falling back, so they're self-balancing. They don't need much maintenance, we need to charge them. A battery life is roughly three to four hours, um, depending on the terrain we take them on, and they need washed and cleaned, just like a car. First time guests are given small training exercises on the off-road obstacle course before they are allowed to freely roam the land. The X2 segways that Robert uses have denser tyres to allow them to cope with different types of terrain. Guests are taught techniques on how to steer the segway through slalom racing, but more courageous guests can challenge their skills on apparatus created specifically for off-road segways, such as the seesaw.
As part of the experience, Ayrshire Segways offers the chance to take guests on a relaxing off-road tour around the stunning Auchinleck estate. During the tour, guests can go at their own pace and explore the different sites the estate has to offer. It's the experience of gliding over the land rather than having to walk on it. And uh, there's a thrill because uh, when you lean forward, the machine goes forward and when you lean back, it goes back. Good fun, and they were uh, drawing. We went a bit quicker than you thought they were going to go, and uh, it was good going all different terrain and stuff like that around the area. Going through all the puddles, splashing each other, that was quite fun. Yeah. I think it's something different, and I really enjoy it. It takes a while to get used to it. At first, I was going really, really slowly and didn't want to go very fast but after about five minutes and you build up your confidence it's, it gets good. Great experience, i would never done it before so I uh, got, got a quick hang of it and then uh, it was off and it was good. Very easy to control, very easy to maneuver um, Certainly there was a learning curve, a quick learning curve. I, uh, I think I did better than some other folks in the group uh, picking it up, but everyone was able to do it, young and old. A focal point of the tour is Auchinleck House, an 18th century mansion built by the Boswell family and just recently restored. Guests can stop here for a breather, have their pictures taken as a souvenir before heading off again. While on the tour, it's not hard to see why segways have become such a popular means of transportation. A common sight in most American states and countries such as China using them for public services like the police force, their recent rise of use in Europe seems almost imminent. They're still only being used in niche markets such as guided city tours, but the segway is allowed on public streets in most European countries with only some restrictions in place, such as the need to have license plates. In the UK, however, the Segway is classified as a powered vehicle, subject to road traffic law. Since it is still deemed to not meet the required safety standards under this law, it is illegal to use a Segway anywhere but privately owned land. Anyone caught using one in public can be fined up to £75, despite the use of vehicles such as mobility scooters or electric bikes still being legal. Campaigns to tackle this have started to grow, emphasising the benefits of the UK joining the likes of other European countries by using segways in niche markets to help build up tourism. Obviously the segways in the UK can only be used on private land, so the ones that are already set up are usually out in the countryside and I do think that this would attract tourists to rural areas. Well, quite good fun, fun way to see the, the sites. Yeah, good idea. I think it'd be funny to see it do it in a city just because I've done it in a rural bit, but yeah, both of them would still be good. Yeah. Yes, I think it does. There's not that many segways in Scotland, but the places that do have them, um, it brings people into the area, for sure. But I think in places that have them uh, abroad, some people think they're a nuisance because they're uh, weaving in and out of people uh, out for a Sunday walk. They're, they're a fun thing to use and it was a nice bit of uh, tour, you know, incorporated with it. So we got some historical perspectives and it was, it was fun doing it. I could see that being fun rural or urban. 
I have not seen them except for the mall cops. So it's not a, uh, I, I don't see them daily or really on tourist events, but I know they're around. I think they've maybe been like a cycle lane or have their own lane or something because just people kind of going all over the pavement would be a bit riotous, but I think it would be a good, it would be a good idea. Cycle lane would be good because it's a bit too fast for the pavement and it's a bit too slow for obviously the roads, so I think maybe cycle lane would be a good idea. Yeah. Because the fact that I work with them so I know how fast they can go and I can just imagine people whizzing in and out, people trying to walk, so I think if they were on if they had to be used in cycle, cycle lanes, then it might be alright, they're a bit slow for the road, they're too fast for the pavement, so maybe if they could go in cycle lanes, maybe, aye. As for Ayrshire Segways, they hope that they can help to contribute to the regeneration of the local area for many years to come. Well, hopefully we can grow um, and would struggle to be a year-round business because of the, the wet through the winter, but hopefully um, we can get enough business that I can retire and leave Russell to run things uh, quite happily.